Brain Injury Association of Florida is pleased to provide perspectives on brain injury for the caregiver, a series of short informational videos to help caregivers learn more about traumatic brain injury, understand their loved one, and manage life after TBI. Memory deficits are TBI's most devastating problem. The most devastating. Doesn't matter who we are, doesn't matter what we did, we end up with memory deficits and our career is over. And we have to work around the problem. Okay? The, the point is we fake it. And it's normal human nature to fake it. So you're sitting there, you go, why is he lying about that? You know you can't remember what name you... No, why bring it up? Do you want somebody pointing out what's wrong with you and how stupid you are? Um, it is the thing that causes more problems than anything else. And the best ways to work around it are to use paper, to attach emotional experiences to it, write it down whenever possible, but most of all, keep things simple. You do not want to try to remember too many facts because your brain can't remember a whole bunch of facts. It can't organize them. Just stick with very simple thing. Tuesday, dentist. Tuesday, dentist. Okay? You may not remember which Tuesday. It doesn't make any difference. Write it on the calendar, scribble it. Tuesday, dentist. And it's a lot easier to remember than trying to um, make it complicated. Stress magnifies all the disabilities that we have. And when you're under pressure, you're going to see some of these things. Neuro neuropsychological testing will show the, um, the deficits because we deliberately put you under stress. Your uh, temporal lobe changes, lack of frontal lobe control, um, Outburst of temper, we talked about these, and uh, sometimes a loss of smell. I didn't mention that, but that sometimes happens because the olfactory bulb sits right under this front part of your brain, and it oftentimes gets damaged. The thing about your memory is it's critically important. People say, well, if I can't remember, why can't I drive? Well, what's the problem? This is the problem. When we're driving down the road and you glance in your side view mirror, and you see that vehicle there, and you're now going to turn into that lane, you have to remember if that's the same car you saw three or four seconds ago when you were looking on the other side to see who was there or whatever. Now you're going to have to get into that lane. Is that the same car, or is there somebody now in my blind spot? If it's the same car, and he's still back there, it's safe to get over. If it's not, you better be turning around to make sure there's nobody in your blind spot. If I can't remember, I'm in serious trouble. It's very subtle, very small, but those little memories are very important for getting us back to being able to do things. To learn more about psychosocial issues for the whole family by Dr. James McCullough, go to www.byyourside.org and search caregiver. To learn more about this particular topic, call the Traumatic Brain Injury Resource and Support Center helpline at 800-992-3442.